not any time in that series, I don't know if I ever really saw Pikachu of having a great being in a great spot. Honestly, I mean, and I think that's to, to the credit of right. uh, Gary Johnson. So, um, I believe though we are joined by our victor though. Swindle Mountain's going to be coming back. <laughs> Swindle, how you doing, buddy? A lot better than when we first spoke. No complaints. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, and uh, for good reason. Of course, you guys taking the series three games to nothing over Pikachu. As I'm sure you even just heard there. I, I was a little bit surprised at just how almost easy it seemed for you guys. Were you? Uh, Well, Phil predicted we'd win 3-1, and after we all read it, we were like, well, we can't make him right, so <laughs> we had to go out in 3-0. Honestly, um, we felt like we were the better team going in. Um, I was just kind of – I was expecting some stranger drafts, to be honest, mm -hmm. and I think if they'd taken Soul Reaper in game one, we might have been in a little tougher spot, but we ended up with, like, the exact team we were hoping for, so – yeah. Uh, we were really happy with our drafts and the way we all played. Yeah, Trelf actually mentioned that. You know, with it started with uh, I think they, they they locked Devour Nomad, I believe it was in that first <laughs> game, and so we're like, okay, here we go. Maybe a little bit different as you even expected, but then he went with the Soul Reaper and then somebody else on top of that. But um, you know, we we're looking at that, and but in the end, you got Soul Reaper with that fifth and final pick, and we looked at your lineup and it was like, actually, this makes a lot of sense, and this fits very well. So. Um, it, it, it sounds like that. Obviously, that's what you were kind of going for. That that first game, though, I mean, that was a difficult lineup for Pikachu to handle. So, was that the idea, though? Kind of just that beefy, just team push team there. Uh, yeah, that was what we were going for. But um, we didn't want to lock something too strong because they put in Devour Nomad. So I figured we'd throw out stuff that you know was good that would work with us, but not necessarily terrible if we had to play against it. Mm -hmm. So we just figured we'd lock that. Yeah. Uh, Trough? Well, that's exactly what I was saying okay, in yeah. the cast. Is, yeah, I was, I was going to ask if, if picking Soul Reaper was um, your intention really there. But uh, for game, we kind of answered that. For game two, you guys went with a, uh, well, kind of a hard carry. So what's your, <laughs> what's your idea behind picking or drafting that silhouette? I thought that was probably your best draft in this whole series. Not to mention, I mean, I loved uh, actually the last draft you guys did. But what was with the draft for the, uh, picking that sil uh, silhouette in game two? I mean, it was definitely the closest to uh, something complexity would do, so I can see why you'd applaud it. But um, <laughs> hey, the um, reason we're number one, <laughs> they are in tough. That is true. We, um, I don't know. I just felt like I really like Engineer as a support for heroes like Mag and Fade. And looking at the lock pool, we figured that picking up something like Silhouette that can really just win a short lane yeah, pre yeah. versus pretty much anything was our best bet because we figured they would end up running as they did a long lane Wild Soul Tempest Retreat and. Silhouette beats that and has really good late game. So even though I think they dual laned bottom for Gorda, we still had more GPM on our Silhouette just because Hero's not, not necessarily OP, but he's, he's pretty good. Yeah. So you guys, you as I, as I mentioned there at the very end, you all have experience in DreamHack. This isn't going to be new in that sense individually, but this is a new team for you guys. I mean, what, what do you think of, of your team right now going into the DreamHack event? Um... Definitely feeling pretty good about ourselves. Obviously, we're still pretty new. Um, not, I don't think we got all that much hype, but we're performing well. And uh, the big thing is that everybody on the team has like a lot of LAN experience. We've all been there and lost. So um, I'd say we're definitely one of the, the hungriest teams out there to finally yeah. get a, a really good showing. Was well, a little bit of a more of a sweeter victory, perhaps, knowing that you did defeat Pikachu, a team that you were just on before this event? <laughs> it's actually very, very sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping we'd end up playing them yeah. for, for multiple reasons. Well, you did, and uh, you took the series three games to nothing. Again, very, very decisive victory. It was a lot of fun to watch there. So you guys are going, uh, again, individually. You guys all have that experience at Dream Mac. You're going to be going back. We do have two more best of the five series. Of course, tomorrow we got TTE Sports going to be taking on uh, Lions, and then the following day, bunker down against Q Squad. You have any? You have any predictions for those two matchups? Uh, TT Esports 3-0 over Lion, and I don't know. It's kind of hard to call bunker down versus QSQ. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to come down to the drafts, but it could go either way. I'm rooting for bunker down just because they're, I mean, they're just fun guys, and I've always rooted for Bassets. Yeah. Um, I hope they win, and I think it'll go down to at least four games, probably five, whoever wins. All right, so 
We don't know the Southeast Asian teams yet. We, we do know the Latin American teams. You said you're going to be able to see now them, and so you're excited about that, I'm sure. Um, we know complexity and trademark are going to be going, and, of course, Cats Gaming from CIS so far. So what do you think of those teams that have already qualified? I mean, what do you think of the overall matchups there? Uh, um, uh, I mean, you might not like what I have to say, but I honestly think that the four best teams in Han right now are the two that have qualified already ourselves and TT Esports, and I mean, I love my guys from Brazil, I really do, and I, honestly, I'll be rooting for them, especially if we get knocked out, but I really, I really think it's going to come down to just the those top four international teams uh, making it to the semis, although I wouldn't count Southeast Asia out, because they might bring bring something to the table this time, but I'm still definitely thinking that uh, INT is where it's at. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's it you know it's safe to say that at the same time. I mean, the facts don't lie. Obviously, history doesn't lie, and no doubt, uh, it seems like the cream of the crop has been from that North American European region for the most part. But it is going to be a fun event in the end. Uh, I, I know that I, I it sounds like you're excited. I'm sure that you have every reason to be, and I can't wait to to of course see you there once again at DreamHack. So, wrapping this up here again, Kyle. Any uh, shout outs you do want to make? Um. As always, as if you're an American, you got to go vote for Gary Johnson. I'm not trolling. Google it, please. And, uh, of course, the only shout-out that really matters is just my family, uh, my dad, my mom, my three little brothers, and, of course, my brother, Zach, who's sitting next to me. I think he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit. But um, they're always watching every game and whispering us and begging us to play Midwars. So big shout-out to them because they make it kind of fun. By the way, we were wondering about that. You mentioned Gary Johnson, as, as you do, you know, again, uh, wanting to get people to vote for him. Um, it, are you guys going to be changing your name at the DreamHack event? Is that a possibility? Or are you guys going to stick with it, despite the elections being over at that point? Uh, I don't know. We've been thinking about some names. We figured uh, my dad's idea was just to pick something that you guys would say, and then everyone would laugh, like, I'm with stupid. But um, we didn't. We don't want to, like, troll too hard. So, I mean, with luck, we'll pick up a sponsor. Minus already did that. Yeah, Minus it's, is it's so old it, school. Really? Come on. Oh, oh. I honestly didn't know. But, I mean... We'll think of something. Who knows? Maybe we'll pick up a sponsorship. But, but all we can do is kind of see what happens when we get there. Yeah, gotcha. All right, again, Kyle, looking forward to seeing you there. Congratulations. Very deserving of it. Best of luck to you at the, of course, DreamHack event now. Of course. I'm looking forward to the dinner the most, by the way. Always good times, man. Assuming, assuming we're doing that again, but I'm totally Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. it'll be happening. Just... Definitely. All right, take it easy, Kyle. All right, thanks, guys. And appreciate your casting as well. See you around. Yep. See Thank you. you. All right.